Hello, my vacuum cleaner chums, and welcome to this lovely day here in Inglandshire, where it's just stopped raining. And welcome to this GTEC Air Ram Mark One that I have here. Never had an Air Ram before. It's quite filthy. It's seen some use. What does this say? Designed, developed and patented in the UK, but probably not made in the UK because... That, yeah, there we go. Made in China. Of course it is. Oh, what's this? Is this 100 watts? Not really a vacuum cleaner, is this 100 watts? They say it's 100 watts. 100 watts is probably what it is. We've got a brush roll. Seems to have some life on it. Some wheels. There's a battery here, which comes out like so. It's a 22.2 .2 volt battery there. So, not too shabby. Let's just have a quick go, shall we? If you haven't guessed it by now, it is broken. For those of you who follow me on Manchester, I've actually know I'm not the biggest fan of these cordless carpet sweepers. And this is no exception. This is one that I've got in for repair. I'll show you why. Yes, it stripped its drive cog. Huzzah, as they all do. So, this is basically the before repair video. Because, yes, I'm going to... I'll do a thread rather than a video. So, there'll be a Manchester Vax thread. On how to change the drive cog, which is somewhere deep inside here. So, you can see there's all the dirt from it. From obviously when it was last year. It just has some suction. <laughs> But the, the hmm, what's the most DC 16 level? The filters don't look too clever either. Whoa! Whoa! me, I shall need to wash those. Oh, look at that! That's where the flipping bales of dirt go, not in there. So, yeah, these are probably just going to lob them straight through the washing machine once I've given them a good vacuum off. So, yeah, there we go, really. There's, there's not a lot more at the minute that I can show you because... There's nothing else more I can do at the minute, although we need to clean this mess up now. Hang on. Oh look, a proper vacuum cleaner. So heavy to push because it works so well compared to that. So there we go. This is the before refurb because I will be refurbishing it because I'll be honest, I'm not going to rush to spend my own money on one of these. So this is probably going to be one of the only times we're going to see one. Hateful little things they are. So thank you very much for watching what £300 of scrap looks like. And 
hopefully the next time you see this it will be working again so thank you very much for watching and goodbye